Hey, travelers, two weeks in a row, and Troy's still here. It's got to be like a record. Two weeks in a row wearing green shirts. That way. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. But I, made- I don't know how you remember what you wore last week, but good job. I made green my color this month. That away. Yeah. You know, you would think March, green. Yeah. No, no, not not in, Troy, my own rules. not in Troy's world. Not by my no standards. No way. August and September. You End bet. of August, early September, I'm green. Green. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Nothing says Oktoberfest and, and fest like green. I play by my own rules. You know those Germans. Lots of green. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So, uh, I... D- <laughs> We're doing kombucha tonight. Yeah. Hard kombucha. Yeah, when you brought this over, I went... Yeah. Okay. Landon was not excited. There was no joy in his eyes. No. <laughs> you know, this time of the year, pumpkin beers, Oktoberfest. No. You know, there's other other random things that they throw out there yeah, for fall. Do you know, I thought when you said I'm going to bring over some stuff, I, I, thought, I, I thought, all right, this this should be, this should be uh, fun. Never in my wildest dreams well, that I think hard kombucha yeah, was going to come. Yeah, it's not even come. beer. It's not even beer. No, we're never we're never drinking beer. It's fermented tea stuff. It's tea. Tea. Oolong. Yeah. <laughs> there is o- so many. Oolong. I looked up like what was in these and there were so <laughs> many ingredients I couldn't even pronunciate. Not that I'm a great pronunciator to begin with, but. That's, that's true. You're not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. So this should be a fun night. We're, so kombucha, I'm not an expert by any means. Uh, if you're super into kombucha or if you want to know more, I guarantee you there's at least a million videos out there that could probably explain it better than my dumb ass can. Adaptogen root blend. Adaptogen. Yeah. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> sure, we all do. But at the end of the day, <laughs> kombucha is a fermented tea that usually is pretty low in the ferment- uh, fermentation. Usually it's like point what, like five at the most. Yeah. Pretty low alcohol, like an NA beer essentially. And it's a kind of a tart, strong tasting uh, beverage that is supposed to be good for your digestive tract and probiotic, naturally yep. probiotic. So in true uh, American form, he's like, hey, you know this healthy thing? Let's add more alcohol to it. More alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> so let's make this healthy thing unhealthy, but make this unhealthy thing healthier. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Circular logic, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it, but yeah. <laughs> so so let's, uh, yeah. It's called Flying Embers is the name of the company. Em- embers. Embers. Embers, like like coals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flying Embers. Yeah. It's got a little phoenixy thing on there. And, that's uh, nice. So does the purple taste like purple? Oh, is it like Gatorade? Yeah. Oh, that's good purple. <laughs> that's good purple. <laughs> like my Gatorade purple. No, this one is called Ancient Berry. So only berries that are a hundred years old go on this one. Oh, really? A thousand years old. That's that sounds. That's, I can smell it already. Sounds great. This might be one of the most. I got. I got. I got to ask you. <laughs> this is so aromatic. Holy crap! Yeah. Can you smell it over there, Alex? You know what? Do you know? What it, you know what it smells like? You know what it smells like? What? Flintstone vitamins. Oh, I've, makes me come in my mouth water a little We're bit. Flintstone kids. 10 million strong and growing. No. It's actually really good. It tastes like berry and tart. Not real tart, but yeah, it's it's got a berry flavor to it. Yeah. It's not perfect. I got to ask you, did did you get these in at work? Oh yeah. 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 I took them out of the It's kind of what it's kind of what I figured. I took them out of the sample. Yeah. Well, they're brand new to the state, so I figured it'd be fun to do them. We just the state of Wisconsin just got this. So. There's a lot of effort you put in. I stole them from work. Yeah. When's the last time you stole something? I don't work. I don't work in. I don't work in alcohol. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't steal a vacation and we can just go there and drink kombucha. Ah, uh, what if we did though? I, that would that'd be, be the a, weirdest that'd trip. Be ter- Landon, that'd be a terrible Landon, trip. Landon Troy snuck on this plane, got here for free, and now they're just drinking kombucha. That'd be awful. Just terrible. You shouldn't do that. It's lighter in the body than I was into. I mean, I'm not a kombucha expert. I don't drink a ton of kombucha. But I, I've, to be honest with you, I think this is maybe the second time I've ever had kombucha. This might be my third time. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's good, though. I like the ancient berry. We're going to get fives of views on this one. <laughs> Kabucha is hot right now, man. Is it? Kabucha is hot. It's moving you know, out there. You know? 
I, I I guess I know very little about it. I know a place that has kombucha on draft, and that's their number one moving draft line right now. Just regular Is kombucha. Is that Growler Guys? Well, I mean, yeah, I don't want to name drop them. No, you can name drop Growler Guys. Growler yeah. Guys is a great place. They have growler food. Guys is the only the only Growler Guys in the Midwest. The the that one that we true. have in Eau Claire. Yeah, no, that is true. Yeah, I like that place. It's an oddity. No, I like them. I yeah. like I like that the food is cheap and fast. Just like like, like your women. Just like I like my women. Yep, that's <laughs> Look at what I you, figured. Stephanie. <laughs> She'll never watch this to find that's out. That's fine. She's doing homework right now. Okay. Yeah. Alex, you want some kombucha? Some later? Okay. I mean, I like it. You know, it does. It doesn't taste anything like it smells. No, that's that's a stinky beverage that tastes yeah. pretty pretty gosh. You know, good. you know, I'll I'll go on a story right now. Oh shit! I went went to a brewery this last weekend mm-hmm. outside mm-hmm. of Wasika, Minnesota, called Half Pint. Okay, yeah. Uh, thought we got lost because we were on a gravel road. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, I grew up in the Midwest, and I grew up out, you know, small-town America. Yeah. I think all no, three of us no, no issues with a gravel road. No. So that's fine. However, I've never been to a brewery that was on a gravel road, so therefore I thought my GPS would take me in the wrong direction. Got there, and it's kind of like, you know, those pizza farms that we keep seeing show up, you know, the farm-to-fork yeah. Uh, places that we see a lot of now, especially around this these parts, and maybe wherever you are, you haven't seen them yet, but they're they're coming. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if Wisconsin, if the trend's hitting us. How to how to turn a farm into a profitable place? You have to start making pizza. Hey, well, you got to make it quaint and quaint. So yes, this this place is kind of like that, and they have they have their whole um, their all their hops. Mm-hmm. O- kind of overlook, you know, their wow. tap room overlooks all their hops. Uh, they have pizza delivery out in the middle of nowhere, which was kind of great. <laughs> free, free popcorn. However, they had an experimental sour. Okay. Okay. Now, I like sours. And if you want to experiment with something, I'm all right with that. However, when you smelled this, it smelled like feet. Mm, yeah. Like, like they had used... Um, made this beer dirty socks. Kind of. It almost smelled like blue cheese. Ooh, now you have me. I, I, I like me some blue. I cheese. I like blue cheese too. As a matter of fact, the beer tasted like blue cheese with raspberry. Mm. Now, when you're when you're aiming to drink a beer, your mind is in a different place. Yeah. Instead of eating cheese, this was like the liquid version of a raspberry blue cheese. Would you buy a six pack of it? No. Yeah. Okay. As a matter of fact, I had to shoot the rest of it because Beth wasn't gonna, gonna <laughs> drink any of the rest anymore. Yes. Of it. And this <laughs> one might be done. <laughs> but the fermentation thing, you know, this had reminded me of that where I was going. I don't know that this was what they were going for. But here we are. But here we are. You got a cheese beer. And that's why it's experimental. Yeah, I mean, you don't see a lot of cheese beers. No, I think that I mean that one. They didn't call it cheese beer. No, general, I would I would call that one. Just going on a quick tangent here. Yeah, you don't see many cheese beers. They injected it with some uh, bacteria, and this that's one, what they got. This one's got some mozzarella in it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway, back I, to the kombucha. I, I, I digress. I was trying to <laughs> hoping we didn't have to drink any more, but here we go. We do the stuff lemon <laughs> lemon orchard. Yeah. With lavender, mint, and ginger. If it were limoncello, I think that would be better. Hey, thanks, Alex. Let's have some vodka. Oh, this one smells good. This one smells like lemonade. Get a whiff of that one. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. Uh-huh. I like this one. It's like lemon. It literally tastes exactly like lemonade. It tastes like lemonade. I don't get a whole lot of lavender, what mint, does it or taste ginger like with in there. Vodka in it. <laughs> Landon, wild card. Yeoman vodka out of Sorona, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Oh yeah, it's a fun place. It smells better. I would probably like going to their spot more if they had beer. Ooh, did you have some of that? That's good. 
kombucha with vodka. That's where it's at. I don't know. I see. So far, this one's my favorite by a mile. I like the the lemonade. I think I just like the other can. It tastes like purple. <laughs> I just wish it were purple. Zero grams and a hundred calories. They're getting so good at alcoholic beverages at making alcoholic beverages like just dialing them in on the calories and the sugar and like really hit you all know that, and like I, health food craze and shit. I've heard a lot of people go, you know, millennials aren't drinking beer anymore because they're looking after the calories. Are you trying to live until a hundred? Who the hell wants to live here until they're a hundred? Have have a beer. You want a beer? Make it taste good. <laughs> have have a, double, a beer. Have a double stout. Maybe. Instead of going, I'm, I'm just going to have a truly. It's 100 calories. It's 100 calories. I'm really watching my figure. Are you having a good night if you're drinking a truly? Uh, truly or not? Oh, truly or not. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, at the end of the day, I like a beer, you know, I, or a wine, perhaps a whiskey, depending on the day. I, I can't have wine. It, yeah. I don't, I don't mind. It's like drinking Bud Light for me. I get, I get bad headaches. Insta, insta just headache. Or you know, just terrible headache. There's a few beers out there that give me the insta headache. We should make, I, I get headaches. I, I never get headaches. We should do an episode where we only drink beers that give us insta headaches. Oh, that sounds amazing. It seems like people yeah. like them when we don't like what we're drinking. So That's true. <laughs> we do get more views. <laughs> there, I, I guess next, look, next, the, next week it's going to be Bush Light, Bud Light, <laughs> and uh, Keystone. Well, the, the, all of those give you insta headaches? I say we do that. We yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah. We, well, this episode's getting 101 views, by the way. Keystone, Keystone doesn't, because Keystone's made by Coors. Yeah. That doesn't give me a headache. Insta. It's, uh, it's that mountain water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was in Colorado here this past <clears throat> week, and that's uh, that's one of the things I think that make their beer so good is that just just the fresh pure that water. Rocky Mountain water. Damn. Yeah. I was at Oscar Blues, and that was a that was a good time. That was like drinking straight from the source. All these, you know, because that the the clearer the water, the more you showcase that hop. Right. You know, whereas like a hard water will carry the flavor in a completely different way, but you know, you get different reactions, but. That that fresh water is fantastic. You know, and I think that's one. And Grand, we're on kombucha tonight, but I don't know if I, I think I think that tastes the, like lemonade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it tastes like lemonade. This one tastes like hard lemonade. Uh, I think that's the one thing that um, people forget is that the water quality means so much. Yeah, and like you can have a, and some breweries can get around it because you can buy equipment to purify your water. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's good, but also not. As yeah, good, but you know what? You that's know. what makes your beer your beer. Is yeah, your local water. Now, granted, if you're hooked up to the city water and it's getting chlor- chlorine water, I don't think anyone really gives a shit about that. But I know uh, quite a few breweries that have their own fresh water sources. And, sure, you know, you get that just that tear water of that area. So tear you know, I don't, I don't yeah. know how that affects kombucha any, but I, um, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna. I would buy these again. Yeah, we're not even done yet. Oh, we still got one more. What's the yeah. last one? Orange. <laughs> this is like Gatorade flavors. Yeah. Well, that's that's how I'm going at it. Uh, ginger and oak Ooh. with turmeric. You said ginger, and I was like, eh, Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. Whatever. Ashwagandha. You got a and astragalus. You have a tumor? No, turmeric. Uh, no. <laughs> well, I don't know what. Any you ever of this. you ever had ashwagandha? <laughs> All the time. I had it for dinner. <laughs> Big old plate of astragalus. I had. I used to have astragalus, but I got rid of it. <laughs> I have a plan out back. That I, I got, got better. <laughs> I bet this one's not orange. Not uh, orange. It's yellowy. The, I would say the last two have been... No. I would say the last two have been pretty on point color-wise. That purple was definitely not purple. Well, and that's my only disappointment so far is... If if you're gonna make a purple can, yeah, come on, guys. Have you whatever's learned, coming out of that can better be purple. Have you learned it. nothing from Gatorade? Just what whatever it takes to make it purple, just make it purple. We were hiking the mountains and Stephanie bought a Gatorade. I'm like, oh, purple, huh? She's like, yeah, love purple. Yeah, who doesn't love purple? If it came out purple, you'd know it wouldn't be natural then. Uh, well, that's not true. You can get purple coloring from fruits and vegetables. Can you? Yes. I don't know anything about coloring. You can. Huh? Natural so, coloring. Ginger and oak. 
ginger and oak. And this has probably the most com- complex nose of the three. There's a lot going on there. There's a little bit I don't of know what the hell. There's that a is. little bit of ginger, a little bit of like a rustic smell, and a little bit of a little bit of a stank in there. That that was the stank that I was wondering what the hell that was. I guess you kind of get an oaky flavor. I like this one. You got the oak hardcore on the finish. The ginger, the ginger's real present though. Yeah, that, I, I licked my lips. And I was just like ginger, ginger, ginger. My favorite spice girl. <laughs> I'm more of a scary spice. <laughs> Love. Alex is more of a baby spice. That's baby what spice. That's what you just yeah. mimic back there. Yeah. <laughs> we should just devote I, this entire. I only said scary spice because then it would get a reaction from Beth. <laughs> I actually don't know who scary spice is. I just, she, just remember the names. She is scary. Yeah, exactly. Does anybody like sporty spice? You know, no. I thought, I don't she's just too athletic for everybody. She wore all the like, Reebok clothing. Yeah. 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 For those of you that weren't <laughs> weren't around in the 90s, Spice Girls were a British, was thing? Yeah. British group. British group of gals. Gals. Who yeah. sang songs. British gals. They sing, yeah, they sang they also some had a songs. Movie. I, uh, Spice World, I, did, I never saw Spice World. Oh, come on. Um, I heard not great things. Cinematic masterpiece. I uh, that was the first time I've ever heard. Yeah, there's scary spice. Jerry Hallwell, right? Isn't that her name? Isn't, Maybe thought, not. No, isn't that the name of Ginger. Maybe right? I don't know. I just I remembered a name of one of the Spice Girls and I threw it out there. <laughs> I actually didn't know any of their names. Mel B. Oh, Mel B. Sure, yeah, Mel she B. was. She did some stuff. Her later. hair looks like horns. Yeah. She has horn hair. Yeah. Her and Wolverine. (laughs) Oh, there's ginger spice. You know, I like ginger spice, too. I got got a special place in my heart for... Good ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Redheads. Speaking of ginger, (laughs) there's kombucha. Speaking of ginger, that's the... And that's probably why the can is orange. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I would recommend the Flying Ambers. Do you like kombucha and you like getting drunk? This seems like a natural fit. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess if you're looking to uh, to get your gut right and, uh, you know, you don't. That should be their slogan, get your gut right. Get your gut right and uh, you don't want to quit the alcohol. Uh, I guess that's the way to do it. You ever been on a health kick, but you're like, God damn, I had a hard day at work. You know what? I had a hard <laughs> I had a hard day, but I got to get my gut right. That's the way to do it. Now this this beer hard f- kombucha. This fulfills a need for sure. <laughs> for those of you on a diet who have a shitty job, there you go. <laughs> if you work at Menards, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say that. Only the people that know <clears throat> us will get that joke. Everyone else is like, "What's a?" Everybody's Menards? going, "What is a Menards?" And <laughs> Google it. And Google it. <laughs> Uh, oh, anyway, or that's, Yahoo it if you, you know, prefer. or yeah, yeah, you can always dog pile it, I guess, if you want. <laughs> Ask Jeeves, yeah. Okay, there's, some 90s, there's some '90s references for you. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. We're gonna do an all '90s episode one of these nights. We'll okay. figure. We'll figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> like us. There's the subscribe buttons. There's the bell button. There's the the book faces and the Instagrams. On the interwebs, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you guys haven't figured this wow, out, wow, this is a failed attempt at <laughs> Troy wrapping up an episode. But if you if you've never paid attention, a Lanin is just better at talking, <laughs> and b I don't understand social media as very well. Yeah, so. you really don't. Anyway, like all those things, if you understood any of what Troy <laughs> said, and and we'll probably see you next week, hopefully. Landon, like and subscribe and comment. Lanin's on the Twitter machine. On the Twitter machine, yes. <laughs> Anyway, from all of us, we'll see you later. Prost! Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.